Hi guys, my name is Gloria and I am a hataholic. Okay, that's not even a real word, but basically it means I have an unhealthy obsession with hats. If you've been watching my channel, you know I like to keep things minimal. In this channel, I create slow fashion videos to help you guys approach fashion in a more sustainable way. And I think hats could play an important role because it keeps things interesting. I just feel that a hat could add so much oomph to a simple or even boring outfit. And it saves you from having to do your hair. And I love anything that's practical and convenient. Well, when it comes to choosing a hat, of course you need to take into account what your face shape is. A hat that looks good on someone else might not look good on you, and vice versa. So in this video, I'm going to touch on how to choose hats for different face shapes, and I will also show you my personal hats collection. Now let's get started. Alright, I'm going to talk about the round face shape first. A round face is about as wide as it is long. It is quite symmetrical. So for those of you who have a round face, you could easily pull off any angular hats, like fedora hats or trilby hats. And you would look good wearing hats on an angle. Also, opt for hats with a high crown to add some length to your face. And avoid anything that sits too low on your forehead because it would make your face look shorter. The next one is the heart face shape. This is when you have a wide forehead but a narrow chin. If I have to categorize myself, I would say I have a heart-shaped face. For a heart shape, you could pull off all kinds of hats, but it could also depend on how short or long your face is. If your face is a long heart shape, then you have all kinds of choices. But if your face is a short heart shape like myself, then I would avoid hats like baseball caps or flat caps. Next up is the oval shape. The oval shape is when your face is a bit longer than it is wide. Conventionally speaking, the oval shape is the most balanced face shape of all, which means you don't need to balance out the wideness or the roundness of your face when it comes to choosing hats. You could pull off pretty much anything. You just need to take into account your height and the kind of style you're going for. Okay, the next one is the oblong shape. Obviously, it means your face is relatively long compared to the width of your face. You could wear anything that a shorter face shape should avoid wearing. For example, baseball caps, flat caps, or anything that goes across your forehead. These would all look good on you. The hats to avoid are anything that could further add length to your face, like hats with a higher crown. Now, the square shape. When you are a square shape, it means you have a wide forehead, wide cheekbones, and strong jawlines. For the square shape, you could wear hats with lots of curved lines like floppy hats, bucket hats, and berets. Honestly, these are all my favorite hats, and you could rock them. Avoid hats that are too angular, like those ones that would suit a round face shape more. Now, let's talk about the diamond shape. This is when the cheekbones are the widest feature on your face and both your forehead and your chin are relatively narrow. For the diamond shape, you would look good in hats with a wide brim because they balance out your narrow forehead. You could wear your hats further back and also avoid hats that cut across your forehead. At the end of the day though, these are just guidelines to help you when you're picking a hat. There are always exceptions to the rules, so you shouldn't follow this to a T. The most important thing is to try on different hats yourself and eventually you will find the ones that suit you. And now I'm going to show you my personal hat collection. I'm going to go by categories here because when I really like something, I just buy the same style in different shades. You see what I mean. My favorite hat has to be straw boulders. It's kind of like a part of my signature look now, if I may say so myself. Straw boulders were historically worn by gentlemen in the 1920s. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I love stealing men's style. So of course I'm gonna steal that. Straw boulders are perfect for summer. I think they are the most classy summer hats. I've used a straw boulder like this one in many of my outfit videos. This is actually a new boulder hat that I just bought because my old one dropped into the water when I was kayaking in Florida and it was ruined. I really like that hat. So of course I had to buy a new one to replace it that looks exactly like it to fill that void in my heart. Another one of my most worn boulder hats is this white boulder with black brim. I use this one for more poochy kind of summer looks. It goes extremely well with white clothing, which I wear a lot during summer. And I also have this black boulder that I wear a little less often. I told you, if I really liked something, I had to have one in each shade. This one's a little jazzy because of its dark color, so I would use it for looks that are a bit more, you know, extra. Enough of boulders, let's move on to Panama hats. Panama hats were also traditionally worn by men a lot, but they're pretty common for both genders now. A straw one is great for spring and summer, and a wool one is fantastic for fall and winter. 
For spring and summer, I have this white Panama hat with black band. I know, it's kind of similar to my white folder. This is a new hat that I recently purchased and I don't even have a photo of me wearing it just yet. I've been wanting a white Panama hat for a while and I finally got this one. Um, I think it's perfect for vacation, or in this case, staycation, because I'm not going anywhere. For fall and winter, I have this black wool Panama hat that I wear all the time. Technically, I should call this a fedora because of its wool material, but fedoras are shaped exactly the same as Panama hats, so I'm not going to get hung up on the names. Um, this is one of the oldest hats I own. I've had it for four years at least, and I still love it. Now moving on to berets. Berets are my most frequently worn hats during fall and winter. Historically, they were very popular as both a revolutionary symbol and a fashion statement. I think berets are a more classy alternative to other winter hats like beanies, for example. No hate for beanies, but berets just suit my style more. Also, it makes me look like an artiste. I don't smoke, by the way. This is fake. This black beret is actually my second one. I put my old one in my handbag and I lost it at the airport. I don't know how. Something always seems to happen to my favorite hats when I travel. So I had to frantically buy a new one the next day because losing my beret is like losing my identity. Anyway, I love berets so much that I have one in red, one in camo, and one in white. I wasn't kidding you when I said I had an unhealthy obsession. Another one of my favorites are wide brim hats. These are a little bit more dramatic. They are mainly here to fill my inner desire to be a drama queen. So just look at this category as some sort of entertainment. For spring and summer, I have this wide brim flat boulder that's a little bit crazy. Don't worry, I don't wear this one on the street. Um, I'm not actually crazy. I only wear this one for photo shoots. Um, yes, it's kind of exaggerated, but I think it adds a lot of drama to a look. And for fall and winter, I have this wool floppy hat that's less crazy. I do wear this one on the street, although not very often. But now that I think about it, this could actually come in handy when you want to pretend you don't know somebody. Like, I'm sorry, but I didn't see you. Okay, this one is the craziest hat I own. This is an extra wide brim wool hat inspired by Audrey Hepburn. Of course, I only wear this one for photo shoots. You know, whenever I feel like I want to dress up as Audrey Hepburn for no apparent reason. All right, let's go back to some normal hats. This is my new favorite bucket hat. By now, you've probably noticed that I'm drawn to crazy hats. So when I first saw this hat, I wasn't too interested because it looks so normal, right? And I also thought that I wouldn't look good in bucket hats. But somehow I decided to try it on and then I looked into the mirror and I was like, damn. That looks good. Guess which hat I'll be wearing all the time from now on. Now let's move on to Newsboy Cap. This is my one and only Newsboy Cap. This was quite popular a couple years ago, so I decided to try it out and I ended up liking it. I don't really care about trends, but sometimes I want to be cool too, you know? The last one is Beanie. Like I mentioned before, compared to beanies, berets are more of my style. But I decided to put it in here because I do wear this in winter for practical reasons, which is to keep my head warm. I think that's kind of important. Look at this hat hair. That's it for my hats collection. I also have a video about capsule jewelry. I'll leave the link below for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next week.